And the devil was more subtle than all the rest. The devil loves to put things right out in the open, but in a deceptive way. I think he just likes to laugh at Christians. Hey, I put my name right on there. I stamped my ownership on there. I gave it my own visible stamp of approval, but you bought into it. You shook hands with it, and so I entered in. Now, what is the devil doing today? I want to talk to you about a group called, or a movement called the Club Mysterio. It's, it's a ministry of a person named Caleb Brundridge, a man, although Patricia King uh, openly endorses him, referring to him initially as she, I think she doesn't even really fully understand what's going on here. Now, Scripture tells us, don't sign something unless you read the whole thing. Don't say amen unless you know what was said. And don't endorse someone you don't even know what it is. Don't give your agreement to someone who's doing something that's wrong because you will be co-guilty with that person. Don't say Godspeed to the person who's doing the wrong stuff. You do not want to do that. And I'm here today to warn you about this Club Mysterio. Now, I said that Satan, he likes to fool you. So who is Mysterio? If you look at DC Comics, you'll find that Mysterio is a man who disguises himself as an alien and is the leader of supposed extraterrestrials. I'm going to give you a link to the DC comic explanation of Mysterio. And you'll also find that Mysterio fought Spider-Man and captured one of Spider-Man's friends in a stunt and held him in a place that was like hell. So who is Mysterio? All signs indicate that Mysterio is a guise, is a superficial name for Satan. So here we have Club Mysterio, aka Club Satan, bringing in trance music. Now, uh, Patricia King says, oh, what is ecstasis? What is ecstasis? Oh, you'll find out. Yeah, you'll find out when you arrive in hell or if you do some responsibility and actually study to show yourself approved. Because we are not supposed to just abandon ourselves wildly to whatever spirit is in the room. We're supposed to test all spirits. And we don't even consider anything unless two or three vetted, known to us, true Christian brethren will, give, will deliver a word. So she's, here's the definition of ecstasis from allwords.com. Quote, the state of being beside oneself or wrapped out of one's self. So ecstasis basically is leaving your body. What kind of far out new age experience is this? Now, the etymology is that ecstasis is a Greek word, uh, in which means displacement, session, or ta-da, trance. Who goes into trances? The far out new agers, far out, far eastern mysticism. That's who goes into a trance-like state. That's who goes out of their body. This is all demonic. When you're out of your body, when you're beside yourself over here, who's driving? That's called possession, people. Don't take this lightly. It might seem kind of far out to you, but that's exactly what's there. It may not be effective every time, but some of the time. The devil's not going. He's just choosing a spray pattern. He's getting as many as he can. He puts out easy snares, and if you're not careful, you'll step right in there and he'll pull it tight and he'll have you. And now you're in bondage. Now Jesus came to break the, the chains. So what you got to do is you got to repent for participating in any craziness, anything to do with Patricia King, the Elijah List, almost all of that stuff, uh, Steve Schultz, uh, this guy, uh, Caleb Brundridge. You got to repent of that. If you own any of their books, throw them out. And then you proclaim in the name of Jesus Christ, I... I break every chain, every bondage that came onto me because of my participation in these things. You just break the devil's work right there. Now he might tell you, ah, there's no backing out, but there is. The blood of Jesus is more powerful than every other force. The forgiveness of Jesus is more powerful than every other thing. The only thing that cannot be forgiven is blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Just pure rejection of God. Just simply rejecting Him. That won't be forgiven. But you can be forgiven of having carelessly or out of curiosity or maybe out of rebellion having entered into any kind of a club mysterio bill johnson pat king rick joiner bob jones kind of far out stuff you can break the power of all those things in your life get rid of all those items throw them out and repent i'd like to pray with you right now if you've been in any of those things holy father in heaven please forgive me father for participating in things which were not of you please forgive me father for not taking the time to carefully test all spirits as you instructed me. Forgive me, Lord, 
Uh, if I went into this, Father, out of curiosity, out of rebellion, even if I knew it was wrong, but I wanted to check it out, and I went in there, Father, please forgive me, Lord, for going into a place where I ought not to have gone. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I break every bondage, I break every chain, I break every unholy soul tie that may have come on to me or any plan that may be planned against me because of my participation in these things, because of my listening to these different Gospels, because of my opening my heart and my life to these things. I break all of it in Jesus' mighty name. And I command every spirit of evil to be out of my life, any demonic force which may have entered my life for any reason, even if I did not name it here. I command you to go out of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. People, if you don't know how to pray a prayer to break the power of the enemy in your life, I ask you to uh, check out Win Worley. You can look at MassDeliverance.net or TheElijahChallenge.org. There's some great resources for, for you there. Also, LakeHamiltonBibleCamp.com. This is the man from Modesto reminding you, as always, to pray or be defeated.